Hi, this is Isaac Harper and I want to welcome you to our Time Saving Tips for AutoCAD. Today I want to revisit a topic of PDF capabilities in AutoCAD that was introduced back in the Autodesk launch event. Recently I've found that a lot of people are starting to want to include this technology in their day-to-day -day workflow due to a smaller file size than XREF, especially if you only need it as an underlay. First let's start by showing you how to create a PDF and what some of your options are. As you know, there are several different ways that we could create a PDF, so let me show you a few of the most commonly used. I want to use this drawing as a PDF underlay. So first of all, I'm going to create the PDF. If you go to Output and select the Plot command, you can change your printer plotter to Drawing to PDF. From here, let's go ahead and select Properties and take a look at some of those options that have been added. You can now go in and merge lines together or overwrite them. If I were to come over to Custom Properties and select the Custom Properties button, you will notice that they have changed the vector resolution to 600 dpi instead of 400, allowing you to have a more precise line weight in your final product with a smaller file size. Another thing that you can see is now with font handling, I can actually export out fonts rather than text objects as graphics in my PDF. You can simply just go in and select the ones that you need. From here, I can also include layer information and even open a PDF viewer like Adobe when I am done. The next thing I want to show you is if I come over to the export panel and select the export to DWF PDF options, you will notice that PDFs and DWF options have been combined for consistency and are much easier to use and can, can be trolled independently through plot, publish, sheet set publish, and export. From here, you will notice that I am able to either specify a multi-sheet file or a single. I can also make sure that I include layer information as well as merge control. After applying all the options that I would like to have, I can go ahead and hit the OK button. Now it's as easy as to make the PDF as coming over to the export, fly out, and selecting PDF. This will go ahead and bring up my save PDF as and I can also specify whether I want to see it in a viewer when I'm done. So let's go ahead and hit save. Now once the Adobe Reader pops up and it shows me my end result of my PDF that I've created, please notice over here that we have all of my layer information that I could simply turn on or off, as well as I can go in and even search for those two type fonts that I exported out. So even as something as simple as doing a global search, I can simply type that into the text field and tell it to look for those words. Notice it's gone in and highlighted. Now another great feature in here, I can even go in and copy those objects around. Let's go ahead and return back to our AutoCAD drawing so I can show you how I can use it in an underlay. So now that I'm ready to bring my PDF in, I'm going to go ahead and select on my drawing template that I want to use. And I'm going to go into my model space and I'm simply just going to come over to Insert, Attach, select my PDF building plan that we've created, now, if you have multiple sheets that have been generated, please just click on the view that you want. And from here, also realize that we had scaled down that other drawing by 1 to 200. So I want to scale it up again by 200. That way it's back to actual size. I can go ahead and simply select OK. And once again, it's now showing inside my drawing. And I'm going to show you how I can control the display of this PDF. First of all, let's go ahead and start by clipping this boundary area. So I'm simply just going to draw a rectangle around it. You will notice it has clipped out the outer title block that came from the PDF. can go ahead and edit these grips to increase the area if I need to. I can also invert the clip if this is the way I need to have it shown. Now I'm ready to go in and add some geometry. But first of all, I want to simplify the drawing by editing some layers. So I can simply click on the Edit Layers inside the PDF underlay and turn off the layers that I wish to get rid of and you will notice that it's now cleaned up the display. A great thing from there is now that when I'm ready to add my geometry, I can come over here to the Home tab, select the Circle command, and you will notice that it is actually snapping to the PDF uh, geometry itself. From here, I can go ahead and draw whatever geometry that I need, and I can even use my Shift right click functionality if I need to define which O snap I want to snap to. The hard part about the PDF is sometimes it may get a little confusing what is PDF versus what is drawing. 
So once again, you can control the display of your PDF in several different ways. If I select the edge of the PDF, notice I can do contrast, fade, display in monochrome, and I can even select whether or not to show the PDF underlay or not. And last, you can control the display of the frame even by simply typing in the command frame and setting the value off. Another way we could do this is to simply go into our Layout tab, and we could use our viewport edges to hide those frames. So in conclusion, PDF underlays are a great alternative to XREFs and work very well with AutoCAD 2010. Well, this concludes our time-saving tip, and I look forward to our next one. So until then, this is Isaac saying thank you for your time.